Hi guys, I just thought I'd uh, share some modifications I've done to this uh, Kent Marine 94 litre uh, cabinet hood, or oh, sorry, tank hood. Um, I know there's a, a mod for the lights uh, already on the forum and uh, I was uh, about to do that when I took it apart and uh, one of the things I had a problem with was the buzzing. Uh, you know, they fitted a mains transformer inside this it's uh, this piece of tat here it really is horrible um, you know it's really <laughs> old technology now putting transformers into uh, equipment uh, so that was a, a constant buzz from the cabinet you know it's reverberating around the plastic so before I started doing any sort of modifications so I can turn the lights on and off on different timers uh, I thought I'd take care of, uh, of that and get it out of there, uh, you know, it really is horrible. Um, as some of you will know, the transformer is uh, fitted, I'm trying to see this through the camera, uh, on the iPhone again, unfortunately, I still haven't found the, uh, the camcorder, but it sits uh, in uh, in there like that, and it's bolted, screwed down to the, uh, the top of the lid. Uh, so I've taken that out, you'll see that is the the mains in the red, and then the uh, can I can't see in this light. Yeah, blue. Uh, the blue. The blue went off to the circuit board, just giving it uh, nine volts um, AC. I'm not sure this is focused very well. There you go. And, uh, and then it's just put through a simple little bridge rectifier, which is there. Uh, and um, a smoothing cap which is fitted here. Now what I've done is uh, I've taken the transformer out, I've wired up the mains cable, soldered that directly, so I can get this to focus again, sold the uh, mains input cable directly to the PCB uh, before there was a little two pin socket that it clips into and uh, you know, the other thing, it, sorry I've shown you the wrong thing, it was into this so that was in the board like that and then they'd used these horrible crimp on connections to uh, connect the mains lead up to uh, uh, you know the blue and brown that goes off to the board. You know, I hate these uh, crimped connectors. In fact, the one on the uh, live I just managed to gently pull off uh, by uh, by hand. Just rubbish. Just don't like seeing anything like that in any equipment uh, these days. There's no need for it. Um, so yeah, I've just sold those the mains directly to the PCB. Uh, that connection there. Was, is also connected to the uh, live and neutral and it went off to the transformer on uh, that, uh, that plug there. I've taken the, uh, the two pin uh, socket out because if anyone ever works in, on this in the, in, the, uh, in the future and they don't understand the modification uh, those two pins that would be stuck up in the air with nothing on would be live uh, and obviously neutral, so it's a shock uh, hazard. So I've just unsoldered that uh, when I uh, took the transformer out. Now the other thing, uh, this then underneath fed the bridge rectifier, which is here, so you've got two AC pins and then you've got uh, positive and negative terminals. It's uh, this device here, again, absolutely tiny. It's not verated very high, so I've removed that because it's no longer needed. Uh, after the uh, bridge rectifier, the power goes to uh, a capacitor that was fitted here, and uh, that's what uh, you'd be looking at there. Uh, it's uh, 2200 mic, 25 volt. Uh, it's rated at 105 degrees, so you know it's not a bad cap, um, but. Uh, I've forgotten, it wasn't just the buzzing that uh, I had the uh, problem with. Um, because I'm cycling the tank, I haven't had the lights on. So all this has been completely turned off, except 
the transformer has been connected to the mains and uh, and turned on. Now when I open this lid up and uh, touch this, it was really, really hot. So I got my thermocouple out, chucked it on the side, and this thing is running at 50 degrees centigrade, <laughs> which is ridiculous. If I'd wanted a second heater, <laughs> I would have bought a proper one. Uh, so yeah, not as only as that running at 50 degrees and it's also buzzing and yeah, oh dear, it's just dreadful. So we've got rid of uh, quite a bit of weight in that. Uh, we've got rid of the heat and uh, I've got rid of the buzzing. So a few birds killed with one stone there. Uh, anyway, so uh, because I've taken that uh, um, mains to 9 volt AC transformer away, uh, it's uh, once it's uh, rectified and smoothed it's up to uh, about 12 volts in fact the rest of this circuit requires 12 volts in fact uh, it was only producing about 11.7 uh, and actually drops when the LEDs are, uh, are both banks are turned on uh, in fact some of you with these uh, Kent marine tanks might actually hear the fan speed change when you turn both banks of LEDs on and, and you know it's a pretty good indication that the required 12 volts is uh, is dropping. Um, so yeah, if that's if you get that, uh, that if you hear that rather, that's uh, that's what's going on. Now the other thing is, uh, I thought this was a bit odd uh, when we bought this tank a few uh, few days ago. When you turn the blue lights on, uh, the fans don't come on. As soon as you turn the white LEDs on, it's not focused again. The, uh, the fan starts up, which I thought was uh, a bit odd. Uh, now I suspect probably most people would assume it's because uh, you know the LEDs uh, perhaps get a bit warm and they just need to be cooled, but actually it couldn't be further from the truth. Uh, the problem is this transformer uh, arrangement is so poor that it has to be cooled. Um, the current drawn from the blue LEDs is not really high enough to make a difference to the transformer but you sling those white LEDs on and uh, the current drawn goes up enough for the transformer to get even hotter. So these fans aren't coming on uh, you know, for the, the LEDs, they're coming on because of the rubbish design um, and that, that transformer running uh, you know, really hot. So again another problem solved uh, there. Um, all I did was found a uh, 12 volt uh, adapter, if that will focus, there we go. Um, so we've got a 12 volt 6 amp adapter, it's you know, massively overrated for the job at uh, hand, but it is a very high quality transformer, So uh, and it's properly regulated. So if uh, on, on a no load situation, if you put your meter across the uh, positive and negative terminals, you will find that it's 12.2, 12.3 volts. It's not one of these that sits there at 19 volts till it's got a load on it and then drops down to 12. Um, and that is exactly what I wanted. Uh, so what I've done is I've opened it up and I have used some uh, exterior rubberized uh, three core cable which I had over from uh, when I installed the central heating uh, over the summer. Um, got it in there, it's held in place with a cable tie and obviously it's soldered inside. I've left the lead really long, I've run it through the slot in the back, uh, I've gone through this rubber and uh, if I can grab the other one whilst on the camera, there's three of these fitted as uh, the other modification for the lights says and what I did is I just drilled a small hole in the middle, sliced it open to the curved end and then nipped some of it out with uh, side cutters and uh, because this is a very soft rubberized cable I don't have to worry about it sealing at the bottom end where the, where the plastic is curved. The rubber of the cable will seal that and then the bit I've cut out has pushed in Hopefully you can see that uh, quite nicely. Uh, I've gone and got that off of a plug. Something I would mention is when you're doing these up, be very careful to hold the uh, plastic columns with your fingers because as you're tightening this up, you're putting a fair bit of pressure, um, sideways pressure on these plastic columns and I would hate that to, uh, to snap off. 
and could be an issue for somebody. Um, now, I'm not recommending this modification to anybody. Uh, I just thought I would uh, share it um, in case anyone's got the equipment to do it. Obviously, you're going to have to have some skills, soldering iron, desolder braid, solder, uh, 12 volts, decent regulated power supply that you're going to have to crack open. So this, uh, this mod probably isn't for uh, everybody. Um, so anyway, that 12 volt supply comes in on this rubberized cable and I have just connected it um, to the capacitor's position. The shaded area is negative, the unshaded area towards my finger is uh, positive. So obviously it's, uh, you've got to get the polarity right or you're just going to send this lot up in smoke. Um, so that has now allowed me to operate the LEDs on a timer and I could obviously operate the T5s uh, on a separate timer. Uh, I think the other mod allows you to run both banks of LEDs individually. Uh, for me that you know, wasn't a massive concern. Uh, you know, in the future I might um, rig up an Arduino. Uh, there's plenty of room to fit one in here where that transformer is now missing or in fact the uh, the other side. Yeah, sorry, those white bits are um, a door seal that sticks in place and I've just put it around to uh, you know dampen any vibrations from the fans. I'll, I'll talk about that uh, in a moment. Um, I lost my thread now. Yeah, so I didn't really want to be bothered about running both banks of LEDs separately. I'd be quite happy um, for them both to come on, or maybe just the blue ones in the morning, uh, and then the T5s on the uh, on the other timer. I'll be uh, okay with that. But as I said, yeah, I might use an Arduino uh, and have relays fitted and the timer uh, to eventually switch everything, uh, you know, individually. Not sure yet. But my main goal with this was to uh, keep it cool and keep it quiet and uh, you know go from there. So the other thing I've done, uh, as you know, there's two fans, if I can zoom out a bit. Um, there were, as you can see here, plastic slats going uh, completely, sorry I'm shaking this camera around, completely going across here. I've left two in place just for bracing and hopefully a bit of deadening. Um, but one of the things I notice when you take this fan out from the top, lift it away from the, the hood, it's a lot quieter. So I've cut most of them out, just left two, and uh, that's helped. And uh, on the other side, I've done the same. Now one of the things I thought was incredibly stupid, um, I don't know what anyone else thinks about this, but when, this, uh, when the cover's in place, and uh, you know, as you know, there's a little um, sort of foam gasket that keeps moisture and uh, things out of uh, the electronics uh, side of things. But it's you know forming quite a nice, neat, uh, airproof um, you know box in effect. It's because it's you know the gasket goes all the way around uh, like that. So you've got both fans. Uh, and they've been wired up to suck air out. Well, if you've got two fans sucking air out of a pretty well, well near, <laughs> near sealed up box, you aren't going to be drawing much air out. And I suspect that will cause noise as well. Um, so what I did, I mean, it makes a hell of a lot more sense to me to have one fan blowing cold air in from the room, flowing across everything, and then being sucked out of this and blown back out into the room. I don't understand why they haven't done this in the first place. It just, just doesn't make any sense. Uh, you know, it's all right on a PC where you've got a really uh, quite much a larger fan uh, blowing out. It's because uh, there's air vents all over the place and it's sucking the hot air out and cold air is coming in through various vents in the PC case. But you've got two fans blowing out and um, Unless I'm being really stupid, there's, there's no, no air vents or any way for air to get back into you know this enclosure you know, when the lid's shut. Anyway, so I've, what I've done is I've uh, taken both of these fans out 
I've actually used this uh, rubber stuff to sandwich between the fan and the plastic uh, sort of door that it fits to just as a bit of dampening uh, and on this side I've taken the fan out swapped it over and you'll find that the screws then do not go in because the hole uh, is only recessed on one side so I've just got a drill out and uh, just a fraction bigger than the screw head and I've just drilled down I don't know four or five millimeters just enough to recess the hole for, to allow the screw head to go through out the other side and uh, you know into the original holes uh, so you know now we've got air being sucked in and we've got air being blown out the other side and uh, it's got to be better I think than the you know the original idea of trying to suck air out um, anyway so that's what I've done uh, I've also removed uh, the what they had here this is the uh, T5 switch it's a double pull, double throw, uh, so you've got uh, the live coming in and coming out and this side you have the uh, 12 volts coming in and out when the switch is on for the fan uh, to come on and I've cut, it, cut them off now but there was a cable from here and a cable from the black one and they just looped out and came into uh, this side here and here so you've got the blue uh, LEDs on this switch. The white LEDs would also activate the fan which I've now disconnected because there's no hot transformer in there to worry about and I quite like it with the blue and white LEDs on at night and it's quiet, totally quiet and uh, the uh, fans only come on when the main T5s are, uh, are lit. Again I don't have a you know, problem uh, with the fans coming on and off with those lights I'm not really bothered whether they stay on short for a while afterwards or come on before um, so yeah that's it really I just thought I'd um, show everybody that if uh, if it might help uh, you know anybody I think the fan modification is is a must because then it's so easy to do you, you don't need to take the, take the lid off or anything you just um, certainly on my version uh, you just put a flat blade screwdriver in the slot open up the fan um, compartment lift it out there's a little uh, I don't know if it's three and a half mil there's a little DC uh, socket and uh, plug you just unplug it unscrew the fan turn it over quickly so uh, you know just drill some uh, small recesses in the hole and screw it back in and plug it in and, and it's a you know jobs are good and um, I'm sure these slats were restricting the airflow obviously in and out now um, so hopefully that will also help I may very may very well change uh, these fans for uh, you know the super quiet ones you can get for PCs uh, now I think uh, these are 60 mil but they're only uh, 15 mil deep you'll often find uh, 20 or 25 mil deep fans which obviously are possibly not going to fit in there uh, but you can get uh, two wire quiet fans I'm sure um, you can in fact use the three or four wire versions as well but um, to save you faffing around just stick with the two wire uh, fan if you do change them for quieter ones so really all I've got to do now is uh, just bundle all this up neatly uh, put some cable ties around that and uh, hopefully it's going to be running a lot quieter a lot cooler you know, 50 degree heater was pretty much uh, stuck in there which can never be good and uh, yeah we don't have the fan now with either of the LEDs and uh, hopefully it's going to be a lot better so I'm going to get that all Put back together and get this video posted up on the on my YouTube channel and uh, just share it with you guys on the, on the uh, reef forum and uh, yeah thanks for all your help and uh, yeah more to come thanks a lot.